running out. And um, I'm afraid I don't actually have any yellow based reds. I really need to get one for my collection. The blue base just suit me better. But I, I'd love to have one. So hopefully um, if anyone can recommend a really good one, that'd be great. Or if not, um, if I find one, I'll um, try and add it to this video later. Okay, this is uh, my last sort of lip stick. This is NARS uh, Lip Lacquer in Diablo. And this is um, kind of a candy apple red, I think is how they describe it. So here it goes. Oh, it's lovely. It's a kind of thick, goopy, darkish red. So glossy and lovely. The, I really like this product on. It's it's beautiful on the lips, but I have a big problem with it in that, for one thing, it's really hard to get out of the pot. Even with a lip brush, you have to kind of scoop it out and then put it on your lips, and it can sometimes... Um, it doesn't go on uh, so smoothly and nicely as you see with with this. You can't really get it out with your finger, so I had to kind of scoop a bit out with my nail, and it's it's just a bit kind of disgusting. <laughs> also, it smells and tastes horrible. I don't know. I think it's flavorless and fragranceless, which in some ways can be good, but in this you really can taste all of the kind of chemically waxy stuff that's in it, and I don't like that at all. But it is a beautiful color. Um, it stays on nicely. Um, and yeah, well, I just can't get over how beautiful the colour is. Okay, um, finally, I have two lip glosses to show you. This is MAC Lip Gloss in uh, Russian Red, and this is... I'd say actually, personally, I think this is more similar to the Kangarouge lipstick than it is the Russian Red lipstick. Here's a swatch down here. As you can see, I think this is a bit more similar to that one, or indeed the lasting last, not that similar to the actual Russian red. It's brighter and more kind of pillar box red, classic true red. Um, this is really nice, it does feel sticky like a lot of the MAC lip glasses, which I don't like, but it lasts nicely, um, and it is a beautiful colour, it's opaque in sort of one layer, which I love for a lip gloss. Um, yeah, it's really good. Oh, and it smells nice. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of, um, it's, it's sweet, but I'm not really sure how. It's kind of like brown sugar, in my opinion. Okay, and finally, this I wouldn't wear on its own, but some people might really like it on its own. This is a Barry M lip gloss in... doesn't ha say it on it, but I think it's called Cherry Glitter. Um, and this basically is a sheer red lip gloss with a lot of red glitter. So here it is up the top. Let's put a little bit more around. I hope it can pick up all the glitter. I wouldn't wear this on on my on its own just because I don't like um, such sheer lips. But this is amazing if you layer it over another lipstick. So say over the Russian Red, over the Lasting Lust instead of the uh, top coat, because the glitter is just beautiful. It's it's small enough that it doesn't. I had some. In fact, um, Barry M lip glosses where they've been glittery, and if you close your lips together you can feel all this kind of grittiness and it's horrible. This isn't at all, it's smooth and soft and the glitter is so small but it just reflects the light beautifully. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be uh, continuing this sort of range. I'll do um, pink lips, purple lips, orange lips, as many different lip products as I um, have in colour ranges. And uh, like I said before, I'll give a list of the products that haven't been shown. If anyone is interested, um, please just ask and I'll get back to you. So thank you very much for watching.